early. So does Dave Bratt's big win in Virginia mean the Tea Party is picking up steam again? The Tea Party exists because nobody can see any effort to stop the destructive direction the country seems to be taking. People are sick and tired of centralized government and the impact it has on their life. The divide, the gap, the distance between the elite establishment and average Americans has never been greater. The establishment can either learn something from this or they can uh, consign themselves to the dustbin of political history. They're tired of being uh, uh, pushed around and bullied by Mitch McConnell and others. This election in November is, I, I can tell, Jenny Beth Martin from the Tea Party Patriots joins us now. Okay, so Jenny Beth, did you support Dave Bratt in his candidacy? Tea Party Patriots Citizens Fund did not engage in this in this election. We were focused so heavily on Mississippi in the last several weeks and are still with the runoff that's going on there with Chris McDaniel. We no, but had, why, I, I gotta interrupt you. Why, Jenny Beth? This was a marquee race. If ever the Tea Party was going to make a name for itself, it would be to take out and scalp a big fish like Eric Cantor. Yet I, I got to press you. The Tea Party patriots did not give him a dollar. There's reports that you wouldn't take his phone call. Why? Well, those reports are completely inaccurate. So why didn't you give him with, any money? I met with um, Dave Brad a month ago. I spent several hours with him. I've been in touch with him today. I, and I told him at the time that we had already committed our resources to Mississippi, and that's where we we're going to be focused. Also, we've been in the district, I've been in the district four different times for four events since August, and I've worked with the grassroots there. The grassroots in Mississippi, I mean, I'm sorry, the grassroots in Virginia deserve the credit. They're working very hard. They went door to door. They had, they, they did an incredible job. They took the message and the principles that we care about, went door to door talking to voters, and they won, and they deserve the credit, and that's, that is what happened. Was it because, Jenny Beth, you just just didn't think in a million years that Dave could pull it off? It wasn't a matter of whether I thought Dave could pull it off or not. It was a matter of the, the fact that we were focused, and we, with Tea Party Patriot Citizens Fund, have been focused on the Senate. We've put over $700,000 into the race in Mississippi in the last few weeks alone because that is where... That's where our focus has been, is on the U.S. Mm -hmm. Senate. I do agree with but, you on one point. You mentioned the grassroots effect, and while I don't think... This is a huge way for the Tea Party. I know you're going to say that this is a signal of what's to come. But I do think Eric Cantor discounted the grassroots in the state of Virginia and went to war with them. And they came back and really showed him who's boss. Well, the grassroots in Virginia are unique in many ways from the rest of the country. They're so close to Washington, D.C. They, they are around so many different political consultants, and they're, much, they're very sophisticated. They understand what's going on, and they, I, I'm not surprised by this. The grassroots in Virginia are organized. They coalesced around one candidate. They worked hard. They took our principles. They talked about our principles with voters, and they talked about the issues that people actually care about around this country. Eric Cantor lost touch with the people in his district, and he lives 30, 40 miles. His district is 30 or 40 miles outside of Washington, D.C. Think about all the other people in Washington, D.C. who are elected, who are losing touch with the rest of the country across the heartland. People are concerned about the debt. They're concerned about the fact that fewer Americans are in the workforce today than, th than there have been in decades. And yet in Washington, we see the leadership focused on amnesty and on these different mm -hmm. things with immigration, talking about fixing Obamacare, flooding our job market with, with more people who are not Americans taking jobs from Americans. Right. This is not what Americans are concerned about. We want, we want representatives who mm -hmm. represent us. Jenny Beth, it'll be interesting to see the role the Tea Party plays in the 2014 midterms. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.